In this video we will be doing a contour drawing, but it will be a special kind of exercise. This is a classic exercise that most art schools teach. What you're doing is a contour drawing of something or someone, and you're just picking out the major lines, in this case in the face, the lines that are the most obvious, and don't worry about the accuracy, just try to draw the lines as close as possible. This kind of drawing works best with a Sharpie or a felt tip pen and a white sheet of paper. Pick a subject, either a person or an object like a still life. Sit at a table. Set the object or person in front of you. Contour is another word for outside. So typically a contour drawing is the outside edge of an object. Well, I want you to also copy the lines that are on the inside of the object, but just the major lines. Don't try to do any shading, just the obvious dark places like the inside of his mouth. The trick here is we're going to draw it upside down. I have this contour drawing of Charlie Rose. What I want you to do is copy this drawing upside down. What this teaches you to do is not depend on images that you're familiar with, like the images you're used to in a photograph. What you're doing is just following the lines. In this case, just follow the lines that are in the image. Don't fudge. Totally complete the image before you turn it right side up. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Also, what this helps you do is move away from thinking in your mind, this is an eye, it has to look this certain way or this is a nose, it must look this way. That's your left brain interfering when you hear chatter like, that doesn't look like a nose, or that doesn't look like an eye, an eye is supposed to be this way. So just trust your right brain and draw what you see. Your left brain will try to interfere and draw symbols that you're used to, eyes that you learned how to draw when you were young, noses that you learned how to draw when you were young. Just trust your right brain and draw what you see. What you're doing is copying lines only and that's what you want to do when you're drawing something is just copy the lines. This is a curved line, this is a straight line, this is an angle line. This angle is relative to the straight edge of the canvas. Try not to turn your paper over and look at it until you're finished. But when you're finished with the drawing, turn it over, take a look at it and you'd be surprised how cool they actually look.